2, the diagram on the right shows a part of the curve, this one. Okay, find expression for dy over dx. So, this one is the equation. So, a, y is equal to x, x minus 2 cube. I mean, you can expand this one, but then it will be quite a long way. But, so, just use product rule. So, this one is u, this one is v. So, we know that dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. This one is product rule. So, u is equal to x, du over dx is equal to 1. So, v is equal to x minus 2 cube. So, dv over dx. So, when you differentiate something, uh, bracket with power. So, you just differentiate. You bring 3. Don't touch anything inside. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. You differentiate like this. And then, only after that, you differentiate what is inside the box. This one. So, here we get 3x minus 2 square. So, when you differentiate x, you get 1. Differentiate negative 2, you get 0. So, you have 3x minus 2 square. So, you can substitute. So, your u is x. dv over dx is 3x minus 2 square. Plus, so your v is x minus 2 cubed. du over dx is actually 1. So here we get 3x, x minus 2 square plus x minus 2 cubed. So here you can factorize. You have x minus 2 square, x minus 2 cubed. So you can take out x minus 2 cubed. Square. So here you have square, this one you have cube. So you can take out square, you can factorize, right? X minus 2 square. So after you take out this one square, you are left with 3x. This one, after you take out x minus 2 square, so you have x minus 2, right? Why? Because we know that x minus 2 cube is actually x minus 2 times x minus 2 square. So you take out this one, you are left with this one. So here you have x minus 2 square. So this one is 3x plus x is 4x. And then you have negative 2. So you have x minus 2 square for x minus 2. Which is equal to, so you can also take out 2 here. So here when you take out 2, so x minus 2 square. So, divide by 2, you get 2x. Divide by 2, you get minus 1. So, this one, you get 2x minus 2 square, 2x minus 1. So, B, find the coordinates of the two stationary points P and Q. So, here we know that this one is dy over dx. So, at q, so you have y is equal to x, x minus 2, q, right? So, we see here at q, what happened is this one crossed the x axis. So, which means y is equal to 0. So, when y is equal to 0, x, x minus 2, q is equal to 0. So, this one, x is equal to 0, x minus 2, q is equal to 0. Or here, x minus 2 is equal to third cube root 0 is 0, so x is equal to 2. So, there is two points where the point cross the x axis, which is this one, you can see 0. So, this one is 2. So, our point Q, Q is equal to 2, 0. So, we get our x here, right? So, what happened at P? So, at P, we can see that this one is the minimum point. So, at minimum point, you see here at the turning point, so we know that turning point dy over dx is equal to 0. What does it mean by turning point? See, it's going down and suddenly it's going up. So, this point where the turning point is dy over dx is equal to 0. So, we have the equation here, right? Where dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 2 square 2x minus 1. Okay. So, when this one is equal to 0, 2x minus 2 square 2x minus 1 is equal to so, here x minus 2, so 
12 is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. And this one is 2, x minus 1 is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 over 2. So this one is turning point. So there is two turning point, which is when x is equal to 2 and x is equal to half. But you see here, q, this one is also the turning point. We know that this one is already 2, 0. So this one cannot be 2, 0. So this must be x is equal to 1 over 2. So here when x is equal to half, so y is equal to half times half minus 2 power of 3. So this one is half. 1 over 2 minus 2, this one is actually 1 over 2 minus, this one is 4 over 2 because we times 2 over 2 cube, which is equal to half. This one is negative 3 over 2 cube, which is equal to 1 over 2. This one is negative 27 over 8 because negative cube you get negative also. So this one you get negative 27 over 16. So this is our y. So q is this one. So p, our x is half. And our y is negative 27 over 16. C. Subsequently, determine the nature of stationary point by using the tangent sketching method. So we know that here when we do dy over dx is equal to 0, we get two point of x, right? Which is x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1 over 2. So we, we can obviously see that this one is point P, which is obviously a turning point. But as you can see here in Q, it is not a turning point. You see it's going up, but this one is not a turning point. Turning point means it's changing from... So you see, going up then going down, this one is a turning point, or this one going down or going up. So for this kind of point where dy over dx is equal to 0 but not a turning point, we call this point of inflection. So this is the point where curvature, the shape of the curve change. So you see it's still going up but then you see it's going like this but and then it's changing to this way. So this one is what we call as point of inflection. So you see here even though dy over dx is equal to 0 so we are supposed to get turning point but there is some uh, point where we get point of inflection where you see here it's not going up and down you see here but it is a change of the curve. Right.